Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 13 box fishing for trout baseball mixer. Giving away a trout. In fact, looks like this. How awesome is that? A one out of five Mike Trout from Stadium Club. I guess the winner will get a train whistle. Out of fives and under get the train whistle, so that's going to be pretty awesome. Now the break itself is pretty awesome too. We've got a lot, lot of quality product in here. So let's do it. Let's roll. So, oh, first of all, thank you, everyone. A couple fillers. Congrats to those folks there. People buying their spots straight up. Appreciate that too. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a three, nine times for names and teams. And obviously the giveaway will be at the very end. Different dice roll. One. Two. And ninth and final time after nine, we got Matt Arnold down to Derek Melanson. Six and a three, nine times for the teams. Two, three. And ninth and final time after nine, we got the Brew Crew down to my Dodgers. All right, Matt Arnold, you got the Brew Crew. Jake with the Braves. Derek Melanson with the Nats. Wade with the Indians. Matt with the Phillies. Uh, Matt Lieber with the Phillies. Got two different bats in this break. Derek with the Cubs. Kenny with the Twins. Ian with the Padres. Darren with the Yankees. Chris with the Halos. Emma with the Rocks. Roy with the Royals. Uh, Jonathan with the Astros. Brian with the White Sox. Joseph with the Marlins. Adam with the Texas Rangers. Mary with the Diamondbacks, Matt Lieber with the Tigers, Anthony with the Pirates, Jeremy Taylor with the Rays, Kevin, Giants, David, Mariners, Derek, A's, last spot mojo right there too, Matt with the Blue Jays, Evan with the Cardinals, Barry with the Reds, Matt Lieber with the Red Sox, Rich with the Orioles, Charles, good to see you, Charles, with the Mets, and Derek Melanson with my Dodgers. All right, now trades are allowed. Let's alphabetize by team. So we're gonna pause the video and see if there's any trades. And when we come back, we'll do the break too. Bye-bye. Not bye-bye. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. Um, there was a deal done. Cubs Astros have been traded. So Jonathan now has his Cubbies. So we'll put T next to there for trade. And Derek was willing to take the Astros there. Let's put T next to there for trade. So we can follow along and see who... Uh, who draws first blood in that trade. And we'll see if that has any impact on the randomizer at the end for the Trout, too. All right, so once again, there's the Trout. So if you think you got a bad team or through the course of the break, it looks like you're having a bad break, don't worry. We can still cross your fingers for the Mike Trout to turn everything around. As much as I want to watch local sports news. Hey, where's that hockey game going to be on? Isn't that... Can we get hockey later tonight somewhere? The outdoor hockey thing? I guess I could watch Flames at Oilers. All right. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. So there was that one trade, and there's everybody else right there. Oh, NBCSN. That's in like half an hour, right? Currently sailing. Am I watching sailing? Anyone into America's Cup? Is this America's Cup? I don't understand how this works. I think there's a lot of this, and then a lot of leaning one way or the other. All right. Let's see what we 
got here? We got Cody Hosey for my Dodgers. And that'll be for Derek Melanson and Los Angeles. Yeah, that's not too bad, Brandon. Yeah, there was another insert back there, too, which wasn't too shabby. Not a bad football mixer. Could be graded out. Could be even, even better. We got Dominic Fletcher. Mets? Angels? Diamondbacks. Arizona, that'll be for Mary Lou. Uh, yeah, all only Vet Commons don't ship, Brandon, in that particular break. And we've got Luis Toribio, 78 out of 99. Or Toribio, maybe? San Francisco Baseball Giants. So that'll go to Kevin. Got Matt Gorski. Matt Gorski goes either. He sounds like a tiger. Matt Gorski is a not in baseball. He was drafted by the Pirates. So I'll go to Pittsburgh. That'll be for Anthony. We've got Legacy Adley Rushman going to the Orioles. That's a 6 out of 10. That's a nice low number on that one. Doesn't have the team there. It's Baltimore with that one. That goes to Rich and the Orioles. And we got a nice CJ Abrams on card autograph, draft ticket on card auto for the Padres. That goes to Ian and the Friars. You got a Tatis opportunity box somewhere in here to that series two. And we got a Bryson Stott. I feel like I should know Bryson Stott. Where the hell does he go? Bryson Stott. Phillies. College ticket autograph. I think, is he, is he playing? I think he might be up. On the 40 man at least. All right, Philly's autograph, that goes to Matt Lieber. All right, so let's get another draft-type product out of the way. Then we'll go through some of the base-heavy stuff and then cycle into some of the higher-end stuff. So these are, these are nice, but a little bit tedious, so let's just knock these out first. And, of course, there'll be an autograph recap at the end. Ooh, there's a plate on the bottom. 
an autograph player? All right, first out of the gate, wave autograph, Jordan Westberg, who is an Oriole. It's another Baltimore Oriole for Rich. We got Everson Pereira, who I'm almost certain is a Yankee. Is he? He is a Yankee. Thank you, Teddy. That goes to Darren McKenzie. Jarrell, I think we're kind of booked up for the for the night. We've got about another 45 minutes left in this mixer. And we've got another 30-minute break after this. Maybe if we do another uh, filler break, I think I'd be down to do that. That might be our best bet. We got Cole Henry, who is a national. One out of 10. That'll be for Derek Melanson. We got a uh, Mason Wynn. And he is a cardinal. And that'll be for... That's going to go to Evan, who has the cardinals. We got Patrick Bailey, wave autograph. And he is a giant. That'll be for Kevin. Not numbered. And the plate, who are you? You are Bryce Jarvis, State Pride plate card. Nice. There you go, Bryce Jarvis. Sounds like a royal. Bryce Jarvis, selected by the Diamondbacks. Not even close. All right, so Mary Lou with the Diamondbacks. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, so let's get some of this base heavier stuff out of the way. Should we... Let's go with this, 2019 Series 2. Let's go, uh, I think this is Tatis hunting, yeah. Let's just get right to it. Pretty big, pretty big contract for Tatis, locked up for a long time. The average annual value, though, isn't crazy. I think he averages like $25 million. I mean, I, th I think they backloaded it. Sean was saying they, they backloaded the contract, so the year to year is going to be different, but the average annual value, I think it only ends up being about $25, $26 million. Only. <laughs> but, um, but that might be. That might be actually kind of cheap, you know, by the time, 
by the time uh, Tatis is like a five years into his deal, halfway into his deal, that might be like a bargain. Now that uh, now that I've been chewing on it a little bit more, I don't know why Tatis took that deal. I mean, he, 14 years is long. I mean, San Diego is a beautiful place to live. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe if you just want to get settled in. That's a long time. You know, you would think that he wants to hit like he wants to hit free agency after like seven years, six or seven years, and try to get a monster, another monster deal. But I guess. And that contract's very, very tradable too, I think. At that, at that money amount. Unless he has, a, I don't think he has a no trade. The Mets seal that they're still paying for Bobby Bonilla gets a, gets a million dollars every year for I think another fifteen years or so. Which I guess is interesting too. I mean. I know that's like that's like taking the that's like taking the yearly on a on a, on lottery winnings as opposed to getting the lump sum. I think I, I would kind of kind of want the lump sum. <laughs> All right, let me pay attention here. See, there's an Eloy Jimenez. He's pretty good. It's for the White Sox. That's going to be for Brian Crouch. But I want to pay attention. See if we can find some Fernando Tatis Jr. There's Molina Marcel celebrate to 2019. Yachty is back. Was there ever concern? Was there ever any doubt? Evan with the Cardinals. Yeah, I guess I would take it. I, I guess I'd just be a little nervous. It's like, well, what if they, you know, what if they trade me to some some place I don't want to be? There he is. What if he gets traded to somewhere he doesn't want to be? Ian with the Padres. Made a boatload of money. There you go. Congrats to Ian the Padres. Hopefully that hopefully that grades out nicely. If you choose to have it graded. There's a Vlad Guerrero Jr. Matt Lieber with the Blue Jays. Wait, he got a full no trade clause with that as well? Huh. Interesting. Lucas Giolito to 2019. And there's a Pete. I was going to say the other rookie would be Pete Alonzo. Mets, that'll be Charles with the Metropolitans getting the Pete Alonzo rookie. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Wow, full trade. So you got the 14 years, you got the security, you got the money. The lower average annual value, but you're set up 
You're set up 14, 14 years with a no trade clause. And you get to live in San Diego? It's not bad. There you go, Ian. Yeah. I think all the all the details are on the website. You can hit us up and contact us if you have any questions. Robert's saying you also like uh, taking insurance out on himself. However, if he gets hurt, he still gets paid in like six years. He'll restructure 10 year, 30 million. It was there insurance taken out? That's good. Oh, that's a good call, I guess. Paulo Sandoval, it's 2019. Did Russell Okung really take his salary in Bitcoin? There's the panda for the Giants at Kevin. Poor Kevin. Interesting, Russell Kung. Isn't Bitcoin at like, it's at like 50, over 55 now, isn't it? 50, 50s. I don't know, it changes so much, but it's in the 50s, isn't it? Matt Arnold saying Okung took took half in Bitcoin, but still. That half's doing well, if he still has it. There's Mike Trout. We're giving away a Mike Trout later. There you go. That's uh, for the Halos. That goes to Chris Miller with the Mike Trout game used relic. Hopefully, does he, do we know if he still has it? Hopefully he still has it. I mean, at that point, you just you just for you just set it and forget. Well, don't forget your password, but you just set it and forget it, right? Emma Rockies and another Vlad Guerrero Jr. for Matt Lieber. All right, let's keep marching on. How about some Topps Chrome, or Top Stadium Club Chrome Edition? Any release on I love every release. Robert, every every new release is something different. You know, what I mean every product has its own unique thing. So I think every every product is exciting. But I don't know, it could be cool to see some of the new basketball like like prison basketball in its new new draft class. See how that goes. All the high-end stuff, I, it's obviously, I really like Flawless, NT, Dynasty, Diamond, Icon, so on and so forth. Brock Burt. Matsui. 
I like the de design of the stadium club this year, too, by the way. Power zone. Labor Day. There's no. It's gonna be weird seeing Nolan Arenado in a different uniform. And we got a Sean Murphy autograph. That'll be for the A's. Derek Melanson. In case you're wondering, Italy won this sailing race, and they, I guess, advanced to the America's Cup. I'm sure we got a lot of. I'm sure we have a lot of sailing fans here. That's a great photo. Now let's get into some of that Series 1. Oh yeah, there's the silver pack. Come on, Sapphire, watch out. You can see all the packs right up top here. Oh yeah, Ginter's always a fun rip, Ushelinski. Yeah, that's it's a little long, but but uh, it is a fun that that's fun like to do with that's like a fun rip on your own. You know what I mean? Like I've uh, one year, maybe a few years ago, when we were coming back from the national um, in Chicago, I think it was. Like I bought a couple boxes of Ginter. Just to open at the airport while we're waiting for our flight, and you know, there's a, there's a little pressure during group breaks to kind of, you know, I can't spend three hours doing a case of Ginter. You know what I mean? It's just it's not efficient. You got to keep the lights on. Got bills to pay. You know, so we do have to kind of move a little more quickly. But if you if you have the chance to rip open like, you know, buy a few boxes of Ginter and just sit down and. You know, just sit down and leisurely open a box or two, or if a case, if you're if you're feeling spicy. Yeah, it's a lot of fun because you can take a look at all the weird parallels there. That that's what bogs me down in those breaks. I always want to be like, hey, look at this bug, look at this crazy building. You know, like it's like monster bugs of Australia, and they'll be like scary high buildings, bridges would be like an insert set. You know, so there's all, all sorts of goofy stuff in there that I like. Oh, all right, let's roll through these. Let's see what we got here.
think in series one we're kind of looking for some of this year's rookies obviously all these rookies will ship but like Joey Bart you know it's just a facsimile autograph are you looking for guys like Joey Bart you know who's supposed to be the next Buster Posey is what they're it's what I was what they're hoping Is that Dylan Carlson? No. Dylan Carlson, Alec Baum, you're looking for those guys. I mean, obviously, all of these rookies will ship. You know, so those are like the specific ones. After all you were singing, you have to ask if I was a gaslight regular. You know about the gaslight, Matt Arnold? You know, have we talked? I feel like we have talked about this, huh? No, it's not. I, 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 the sign's still lit. I live very close to there, but the sign's still lit. And it doesn't, uh, there's Christian Pache, and they haven't turned it off, so hopefully they've survived the pandemic. I don't think it's open, though. The problem is it's a very, you've been, it's a small bar. You know, there's really no open space, and they don't serve food, so they weren't able to kind of stay open that way. So I don't know, they'll probably be one of the last places to, to reopen. Hopefully it's still alive, but... I, you know, I really wasn't a regular there, though. But it would be a good spot. I would not, I'd rarely go there on weekends. It's just a nightmare on weekends. I mean, it's fun, but it's just like... It's just way, way too many people. You can, never get a, you can never get a song in. The book's full. Oh, and there you got Johan Oviedo for the Cardinals. Your rendition of Careless Whisper is legendary. Okay. Legendarily bad. That's a good one, though. You try to hit the high notes at the end? We could have been so good together. Thursdays was your night? Yeah, I was going to say weeknights were always a little more, was a lot more chill. You know, and the bartenders were a lot more friendlier because they weren't slammed. Like weeknights, like a Tuesday or Wednesday night, Thursday night. You know, every once in a while, pop in there for a quick drink and watch some people sing. Um, I don't know if you've seen this matter. I'll, 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 sh I'll give you some, some, some additional content. There is an old, um, old video. An old Funny or Die video. Right, and you should be able to easily find this on, on YouTube. An old Funny or Die video of uh, where they did like a little prank where they had, remember the singer, the 90s singer Jewel? You know, Who Will Save Your Soul and all those other songs. And You Were Meant For Me, blah, 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 blah. So they dressed her up in like kind of like a sort of a, sort of a frumpy sort of clothing, fake nose and all that sort of stuff. And she went to a local karaoke bar to like sing, right? And and she sang a jewel and she sang a jewel song. Everyone was fooled. Blah, blah, blah. It was at the gaslight. So there's a lot of cool like. Oh, you've seen? It. Okay, yeah. That's no, that's always fun because I'm I'm always like, hey, that's that's the gaslight. We got a ten out of seventy. We got a Dodgers card here. Nice. Nice. There you go. That for that's for uh, Derek Melanson. <laughs> She's so much better than Jewel. Yeah. And I guess that that's like the moment where you're like, oh yeah, that's why uh, that's why that's why Jewel's a professional, and you can see like the stark contrast in quality. <laughs> that's a good spot though. Good spot. There's that uh, Irish pub just down the way, O'Brien's. 
I think is managing to stay open because they, they're using some of their parking lot space in the back for some limited capacity stuff. There's Miguel Cabrera to 2021 for the Tigers, Matt Lieber. But Sonny McLean's, I don't think, is open. Yeah, Pacific Dining Car. I think all of them. I think, I think the Santa Monica one went down. And I think a few months after that, the downtown one, the one near downtown, which was the original, I think. Was, and the Santa Monica one's been there, or been around for like 40 years. But like the one that's been around since like early 1900s is that, that one close too. Well, Sonny's is still around, but I, I don't know if they're, oh, I drive by it every once in a while, but I don't think they've, unless they have seating in the back or something like that, it doesn't seem like they're doing anything there. Uh, let's go with, oh, we're actually moving at a good clip here. I tried to, uh, when Pacific Dining Car went down, Matt Arnold, uh, they actually had an auction. Sup, Rebel? We, they actually had an auction of all the quirky stuff that was in there. And I've only, it's, it was kind of pricey. I only, I've only eaten there like once or been in there like once Maybe for drinks or lunch or something like that. Oh, Silver Pack. Thanks, Shlinsky. Tony Gwynn, Cal Ripken Jr., Javi Baez, and Yohan Mankata. And so, uh, I, uh, so they were doing an auction of all the stuff, the quirky stuff inside, and, and it went, they all went for super, like, a crazy amount of money. It's like, oh, here's like an old, old brass telephone, and like the random artwork on the wall. And all of them went for like thousands of dollars. And here are like some, some the quirky chairs, you know. The, the table lamps. I tried. Too expensive. What year? This one's 2017, by the way. So here are your, your X-Fractor exclusives here. Obviously, these are all going to ship. There's Red Sox edition of Vets. Cubs, take care of Jock Peterson. He's a good dude. Find some, find some good dog parks for him. So rookie Trey Mancini's. <laughs> Just get one last martini with a steak and eggs, and they hate you guys. Late at night, it's like, come on. Hey, there's the hockey. Wait, did they already have a first period in this hockey match in this hockey game and then they stopped it and they delete Tariko's doing this so let's do oh they did play they did play a period. Oh, there, that, that guy taking a tumble. Yeah, the ice, no good.
Has anyone out there listening right now, watching, has anyone uh, driven or have rid ridden, ridden, taken a ride on a Zamboni? I have never, and I want to. Trying to get more into hockey this year. I think they did one. They did an outdoor one at Dodger Stadium. A little bit ago. A few years ago, something like that. Four four or five years ago, something like that. But they've done one at Dodger Stadium. Um, I did not go, but I think Jason Jaspi, who will be here tomorrow breaking with you, I think he went, if I remember correctly. Brett Beatty is your autograph. Mets, Charles, tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. David, you were there for that? Was it cool? It looked cool. I think I watched it on TV. It was King's Ducks. There's Kyle Lewis. Luis Robert. And we've got Cade Cavalli. Washington, Derek Melanson. Uh, yeah, I've never been that close for a hockey game, though. You. I've been to a couple of Kings games, though. Wow, Kiss played between periods? That's pretty cool. I wonder if they'll do that again this year. Those Luis Roberts will go to Brian Crouch and the White Sox. And we got Justin Foscu. That'll be for Adam and the Rangers. Royce Lewis to two fifty. And we got, oh, nice, Zach Veen. Big up-and-coming prospect for Emma and the Rockies. Big up-and-coming prospect for the Rocks. So what do the hockey players say about this? Do they like playing outdoors? Do they say it's cool, or is it a hassle for them? Like what's the general player response? I think Vet Commons don't ship, but Bowman's Best All Cards will ship. And Sapphire, too. Although they have a different pattern, so I think the shipping team would catch that. Look at some Topps Chrome Sapphire, just from 20... 2020? Yeah, 2020. Seems like they like it, Matt saying, but this morning it was just really bad. Yeah. David saying, yeah, they do like it, something different. Kind of like pond hockey. It, lo it looks cool. Uh, why don't they do they? Wait, have they ever done this with basketball? 
Why don't they do basketball outdoors? Wouldn't that be cool? I would love to see an NBA game outdoors. Oh, did they try imposter strings? It didn't work. What? What? What went wrong? I feel like that's a cool idea. I'm okay. I guess it didn't work out. We got Zach Plesac. There you go. Thirteen out of twenty-five. Yeah, his uncle. Damn. He's on MLB Network. Didn't they play a college basketball game on a U.S. Navy ship a few years ago? I think they did. That's that sounds kind of cool too. We got Lewis Thorpe. That green's just the 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 wall, and we got our rookie autograph, Travis Demerit. Oh, moisture on the oh. All right. That's for the Tigers. That's for Matt Lieber. Then they should just do, like an old. They should do an old blacktop. Like a gold blacktop game, you know. I want like the All Star game should be like on blacktop. Let's see, let's see this choice. Is that too much risk of injury? Like the like the old it's a playground playground game. All right, there's Buster Posey to 45. Candy Cane. I don't know if it's called Candy Cane, but there it is. Candy Cane Buster Posey for Kevin and the Giants. Elvis Andrews to 45. Justin Dunn. Andrews for Rangers edition. Adam with that one. Justin Dunn to 88 for David and the M's. We got JD Martinez to 88 for the Red Sox. That's going to be for Matt. And a nice Trent Grisham here for Ian and the Padres. 65 out of 84. Behind Chris Bryant is Michael Baez, rated rookie hollow for Ian and the Friars. And your three autographs here. Behind Chris Bryant, we got Patrick Sandoval for the Halos, rated rookie auto for Chris and the Angels. Twenty-nine out of ninety-nine. I don't think I pointed that out. And on this, uh, I'm gonna hide that. Jonathan Hernandez. I don't know who it is, but let's keep the suspense up. Rated rookie, Jonathan Hernandez, green. 10 out of 99 for Adam Copperman. And behind Silver Chris Bryant is Isan Diaz. Going to Joseph Falsetti and the Fish, the Marlins. Forty-three out of ninety-nine. Alright, let's see if we can find some of these guys. How young these two look. Bryce Harper, Garrett Cole. I know we're talking a lot of hockey during this baseball break, but... Seattle Kraken, is that this upcoming season? 21-22, is, is that their debut? Seems like we have a few hockey fans in here, so I'll mine them for information. Mm. 
Yushalinsky says yes. Okay. I was really hoping they'd go with Sockeye. Thanks, Kraken's cool too. Oh, remember Dante Bichette Jr.? I guess I guess Bo is gonna be is gonna be the better player. Santana, there's a Garrett Cole. Bowen's best insert for the Pirates. That'll be for Anthony. Dan Heron to 500 for the Angels. If I don't remember all that, well, was Trout always supposed to be the next coming of Christ for the sport? No. In fact, I think that, well, I think he was kind of hyped up but he actually fell in the draft. I think that's the, here's a Bryce Harper, nice. That's the famous story, is that MLB Network was like broadcasting the draft and they actually brought him to the studios thinking that he was gonna be drafted like among the first few picks. And they made a big to-do about it, I feel like. And then, um, and then he started sliding down the uh, draft boards. All right, here's here's Young Jock Peterson. Young Jock, that's his uh, that's his social media handles. Young Jock for Derek Melanson and the Dodgers is Bowman's first. There's Bryce Harper, Bowman Chrome card for Derek Melanson as well. And an autograph, Kyle Kubitza. Not Kyle Kuzma, but Kyle Kubitza for Jake and the Braves. All right, there's Bowman Sterling, and we got Top Sterling hiding back there, too. Trout Wait. slid that far though. I just don't remember. Yeah, the Angels selected Trout using their compensation pick from the Yankees for their signing of Mark Teixeira. Trout was 25th overall in, 20, in the 2009 MLB draft. And then he raked in his first year, and then before the 2010 season... Trout was considered the Angels' third best prospect at 85th overall by Baseball America. And then he raked. And then he was selected to play in the All-Stars Future Game. And then by July, Baseball America named Trout the second best overall prospect.
and then by 2011, I think I think he was started. He was so just a couple years after he was drafted, he was then uh, slated as the top prospect in baseball. Then looks like in July 8, 2011, he was promoted to replace Peter Borjos. There's some good trivia. Who got injured to make way for Trout? Remember Peter Borjos? And then he made his major league debut that night. He went 0 for 3. Then he got his first career hit the next day. So on and so forth. Went back to double A for a little bit. Back in August. And then I think, and then 2012 was his full season and was rookie of the year. Oh, nice Arizarania. And a Nick Lodolo. 38 out of 50. I've run out of top loaders. Nick Lodolo for the Reds, Barry Roberts. And nice Rays Arozarena for Jeremy Taylor. Forgot about Arozarena for the Rays. And Jeremy Pena. For the Astros, that's going to be for Derek Melanson drawing first blood in the trade. Oh. Like Vegas tied it up. Nico Horner, rookie. And we got a Michael Bush. For Derek and the Dodgers. Remember in the 80s if you were Rookie of the Year, rest of your career sucked? Did it really? <laughs> Maybe it did. I remember the Dodgers, the Dodgers in the 90s rattled off a bunch of Rookies of the Year in a row. And I guess, you know, Mike Piazza turned into a Hall of Famer. And there's a sparkle. Julio Rodriguez, he's supposed to be really good. 29 out of 99. Seattle. There you go, David M. Mariners, if they put all their prospects together, they could be scary good really quickly. Karos, Eric Karos had a good career. Hideo Nomo carved out a solid career. I guess Todd Hollinsworth didn't really do anything. After his Rookie of the Year campaign. Maybe the Dodgers group wasn't that bad. Logan Davidson going to uh, the A's. That'll be for Derek. I don't know. Those 90s Dodgers teams were pretty bad, though. So Sanchez and Jordan Yamamoto. That is for Joseph. He might be from around here, Southern California. All right. I don't think that, I don't remember I guess in the 90s, AL rookies of the year in the, in the uh, sorry, 80s. Cal Ripken Jr. was a rookie of the year in 82. Ron Kittle, okay. Dave Rigetti in 81. Joe Charbonneau, I guess I not really do much. Alvin Davis. Alvin Davis was okay, maybe. 
Ozzy Guillen, Jose Canseco, Rookie of the Year, Mark McGuire, Rookie of the Year, Walt Weiss, Rookie of the Year, Greg Olson, 89. Okay, Greg Olson, maybe not. Sandy Alomar Jr., 1990. What about in the NL? NL 80s. Steve Howe? Fernando Valenzuela. Steve Sachs. Daryl Strawberry. Dwight Gooden. Vince Coleman. Todd Worrell. Benito Santiago. Chris Sabo. Those are all great. Maybe not Jerome Walton, but... No, I think most of these rookies of the year turned out to be pretty good. Maybe that's Mandela effect. <laughs> they were just all bad. I think there was a patch auto there, you guys. Let's do the bottom one first. It's Mike Soroka for Jake Odom and the Braves. All right, and we've got... Oh, it's not a patch auto, but it's Shohei Otani. Nice. Five out of 15. Nice. Hopefully he has a bounce back season this year because that would be hashtag great for the hobby. Chris Miller with the Angels. That's uh, 2020, so a couple years after his, his rookie campaign. He's, he's got time to bounce back. Nice. All right. Now here's a really nice one. Close out the break. And we still have to give away that trout, too. Oh, yeah, there's these little mini boxes here. All right, we got, ooh, rookies and retired numbers. Let's do the retired player first, and then we'll close with the rookie. All right, Yushalinski has a strong position on Otani. Card, so he'd like to see Otani bounce back this year too. I think a lot of people would. All right, we have a oh, nice the big unit, Randy Johnson, ten out of ten, triple relic and autograph, and that is Diamondbacks edition of Randy Johnson. Mary Lou with the snakes. All right. Is there such a thing as a first spot no hit mojo? No, I don't think I don't think there is, unfortunately. There's still there's still the trout, Matt. Cross your fingers for that. All right, let's see who this is going to be. All right, it's going to be this way. It is Jordan Alvarez. Nice. 7 out of 25, dual relic and auto. Derek Melanson, Houston Astros, got that in a trade. Yeah, that was it's a pretty good run for Jordan Alvarez. And there you have it, boys and girls. Pretty nice break. The 13 box fishing for trout. Let's go fishing. There it is. Old trout here. Fishy, fishy, fishy. All right, so let's flip back to this list right here. There's no other randomizers we need to do. So let's just grab everyone's names from Mary and the Diamondbacks down to Derek and the Nationals. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a two, eight times. Name on top after eight. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and once more, right? Yeah, six and a two. Again, eighth and final time. After eight. One very happy person. Many, many sad people here. Thanks, everyone, for giving this a go, though. I appreciate it. We've got some other mixers with giveaways, too, if you want to give that a shot. Oof, sorry, Kenny. 
so close, but yet so far. That spot's brutal. But I appreciate everybody getting into it. Thank you. And congrats to Darren McKenzie. Darren had the Yankees. I think I maybe called your name out once in this break. So there you go. Rewarded with a 9510 Mike Trout autograph from Stadium Club Orange Parallel. Centering, surface, edges, all a 9-5. His corners are a 9. His autograph is a 10. It's a 1 out of 5. Darren, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo! Nice trout. Went fishing and caught one this big. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'm going to do a recap. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Got so excited about the Mike Trout. Pretty solid break. Got the Bryce Harper, Jock Peterson, Bowman first, Diaz. The choice boxes were cool. The Zach Veen was nice. Sean Murphy's kind of artigast, a little dark there, but there was another Trout Relic for the Angels. Pete Alonzo rookies, Vlad Guerrero rookie, Tatis Jr. rookie, Plate. A couple prospecting prospects here at the beginning. And there you got it. There you have it. I'm Joe for Jaspi's Case. Now I can sign off. I'm Joe for Jaspi's Casebreaks.com. Thanks for joining the 13 Box Fishing for Trout Baseball Mixer. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye.